Hi guys, welcome back to Empower In and welcome back to another ICU video. So this is how I get the room ready for a regular ICU admission. If you would like to see a video going over a more advanced ICU admission, then please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that I do is I gather all of the supplies. These are the basic supplies that I grab, Amepilex, bath wipes, chlorhexidine wipes, materials for lab, a urinal, and also a liquid measuring container. I always like to have gauze in the room and tape, pulse ox monitor, telemetry leads, blood pressure cuff, ID tubing, and swab caps. I also gather an Ambu bag and the items to set up suction, which I will show you in just a minute. First thing I do is I zero the bed. If you have history there, you will want to erase the history, but the history on this one has already been erased. This particular bed, you have to have the head up at least five degrees to zero the bed. So that's what I'm doing now. The most important item in an ICU room is the Ambu bag. So I'm going to put the Ambu bag in the room. Next, we're gonna set up suction. These are the materials at my facility that we need to set up suction. So we need an outer suction container, an inner suction container with the lid, a long suction tubing, a short suction tubing, and a yanker. We also need a suction canister holder and a wall vacuum device. First thing I'm going to do is take the outer container and connect it to the wall suction holder. Make sure it's stable. Then I'm going to take the inner canister and connect the top and the bottom together. On the lid, there's a few openings. As you see here, one that says ortho, one that says vacuum, and one that says patient. It is a little hard to read. What we're going to do is we're going to cover the ortho and we're going to leave the vacuum and the patient open. Then we're going to connect the outer container to the inner container and the vacuum port. Next, we're gonna take our short tubing. We're going to connect the short tubing to the bottom of the outer canister and to the vacuum wall unit. I always like to check at this point to make sure that the suction is working. If the suction is not working, I usually forgot to cover the ortho port. Then we're going to take the long suction tubing and connect it to the patient port. Lastly, we're going to set our covered yankar here. And that's it, you're ready for your next ICU admission. Please like this video and subscribe for more ICU content videos. I will see you in the next video, bye.